Can you say hi, camera? Hi. What's your name? Hello. Say, I'm two. How old are you? Two. two. You ready to do an activity? Say. Say yes. Yes. Say louder. Yes. Yes. Hey everyone, Rosanna here, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this Colo Kids subscription box. Colo Kids actually reached out to me on Instagram and wanted to send me this so I can review it, and I was very much happy to because they were all about this being a screen-free activity, and I am all about being screen-free with Hazel. Even though she's now two and she technically can watch more screen time, I just don't want her getting like addicted to that stuff. So I am all about finding things that I can do with her that are activities that don't involve an iPad or don't involve the television. I'm going to go through this box, show you how it comes, and then probably do a few of the activities with Hazel and see how she kind of reacts to it and kind of give my review and thoughts and all that. So it'll be a lot of fun. Right off the bat, I like that it comes in a box that has your kid's name on it. So if your kid is at the age where they recognize their own name, they'll open the door and they'll be like, oh my gosh, I have something for me. And it'll just be exciting in and of itself. But it also comes with like this cute, and I don't know what's inside, I don't know the theme yet, but I'm assuming it's music, something to do with music. I believe that every month there is a new theme to the activities. So let's open it up and see. Aha, I was right, music. So music seems to be the theme for this box. On the other side it says what's in this box. It looks like there's four different things. I like that it explains what each of these activities are good for. Logic and dexterity, dexterity and creativity. Let's see what else there. It says Colo Mag. So I'm guessing this is like a magazine of some type. Oh, it's just like a fun little activity book. Hazel might be a little too young for this. She'll definitely love this page because she knows a lot of instruments. Ooh, and then a coloring page. Okay, Hazel will definitely love that. And I guess these are the four activities. We've got some straws. Uh, let's see. Oh, I hear bells. These are the activities, and I like that they're broken up into different bags, so on a day when I need to just do something with her, I can just grab one and go. Okay, so this is the jingle bracelet. It tells you what's inside and it tells you what to do. And that's it. So that I'm really excited to try. This looks like the drum activity. This one, don't know what that is, but it's kind of heavy and there's a lot of good stuff. Oh, I think this one's the wind chime one. Yeah, wind chime. I'm really excited to do all this with her because I know she's like just at the age now where when I tell her, oh, we've got a new toy or we're gonna do something new, she gets like really excited and really gets into it. Not like when she was a bit younger and things would just like totally go over her head. This probably goes with that musical bingo game. This probably also Go with something else. Let's do a craft one. Do you want to make a drum or a bracelet or a wind chime? Which one do you want to do? You want to do the drum? Okay, let's do the drum. So this is our drum. I like that the lentils are inside because then they could also be like, a little shaker, right? We've got lots of stuff. <laughs> little beads. I do that. This is definitely something that is not for two-year-olds, especially if your two-year-old likes to put things in their mouth because these are all choking hazards. Luckily though, Hazel is not a kid that really puts things in her mouth and like swallows them, so I think we're good. All right! Wow, look at that! You look pretty amused. Oh, you like it? You're gonna hold it? All right, as 
actually saw, here's one I just did, two of the activities in this box. I love that I was able to do these activities with her and it kind of just killed time during the day. Unfortunately, a few of the activities were a little too mature for her in terms of her being able to do certain things and I ended up doing a lot of the stuff myself. She did really enjoy the magazine in there because there is a part where you can color and as soon as she saw that, she was like, color! She did enjoy the activity in terms of watching mommy do it and like learn what we're making. Again, it's all about being screen free. Even though I'm a stay at home mom, I'm not like constantly doing like arts and crafts with her every day because some days I'm just burned out. It's nice to be able to have something that's totally just packaged with all the things that you need, all the crafts and everything, all in a bag that you can just open up and be like, all right, let's spend an hour and do this. Doing something for an hour like really goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of Colo Kids subscription box. Be sure to check them out on Instagram at Colo Kids. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.